All right, looks like we are live. We'll give everybody, everybody just a second or two to get in here right now, as everybody is aware. We'll see how quickly we get an audience going. So far, it looks like. There we go, 97%. Everything is looking good. Josh Simpson, what to do, what to do. Chris Kirkpatrick, how you doing? We'll do all the official introductions in just a minute here. Hopefully you guys can see me okay. Everything is sounding okay. Let me know, give me that thumbs up. We've got nine people watching here right now. Very nice. I love you too, Chris, I love you too. Nehemiah, how you doing? A very happy birthday to you as well. I have not forgotten. <laughs> Just a few moments here, guys, then we'll get started. General Pancho Villa, what to do, what to do. Great to see you on here as well. Let me make sure everything is set. Everything is looking good. Let me just make sure my camera, everything is looking as solid as I, as can be. I wish you guys can see the setup that I've got here right now. Larry Nguyen, what do you do? What do you do? Great to see you as well. Elizabeth Ricard, welcome to the stream. We'll get started in just about four minutes or so because I got to be honest, I'm a little weirded out here right now. So I'll explain where we're at in just a minute here. I think you guys can probably tell if you uh, remember what we were talking about the last time. If you guys can do me a favor in the meantime, share the stream out with everybody that you know if you can. Just on your contact list, just tweet this out real fast. This is going to be pretty fun. And uh, chances are you're not going to see anyone else, at least from this area, doing what I'm doing right now. At least if you're following anybody who does something similar. So we'll see. All right, so you can see me, you can hear me. Very cool. Andrew, what to do? Great to see you on here, my friend. Thanks so much for jumping on. I'm doing well, Larry. Thanks so much for asking. We got 23 people in the chat, but only seven thumbs up. What is up with that? <laughs> Guys, let's get that going over there. 25 people in effect here right now. Just a few more minutes. We got about three minutes or so before we get to the festivities. And uh, I got some fun stuff planned for you. It's gonna be uh, an interesting one tonight, I think, for you. 27 people in effect. Thanks so much. Can you guys guess where we're at right now? That may be a dead giveaway in the very back right over here. I'm going to try and answer as many as uh, the questions and some of the comments as I'm seeing here. Yes, thumbs down as well. Either way, it's an interactivity on the video, so it is all good. Thanks so much, for Computer Blue, for bringing that to my attention. <laughs> Sarah Star Vlogs and Reviews, welcome, welcome. A very happy Halloween episode to all of you guys. I am just getting over a few days of a pretty miserable headache and uh, I, gotta, I gotta admit I'm feeling a little decompressed at the moment here right now. Uh, so all the noise that you may be hearing around me here, I'm pretty close to the freeway. That's another hint of where I may be right now. Let me know if you think you know where we're at because we're gonna go into a little um, story time action before we get into what, what I'm gonna show you here. Neon, I did see Venom. We'll talk about that quickly towards the end. No spoilers, of course. I knew that's what you were gonna be doing. Yes, Andrew, as you know. Great to see you guys on here. We'll get the official intros going in just a second over here. Michael Bertram, how you doing there? Rockin' Clover, South Carolina, very nice. Graveyard, mm, it's debatable, Andrew. <laughs> we're gonna talk about where I'm at here in just a second. So we shall see. Let me see, we've got about a minute and a half or so remaining right now. 35 people in the chat, 11 thumbs up. I appreciate the interactions for all of you guys. Thank you so much for joining me here right now. It's been a very busy week. Um, a lot of stuff coming up this week naturally there. An impromptu review came out last night, if you guys haven't seen it already, with the champagne, 24 karat champagne wings uh, from Popeyes, which was a blast to check out. Edible gold flakes, if you can believe it or not. That was a, a blast to do. It really was just a blast to do. Um, so we'll talk a little bit more about the details of all that stuff coming uh, once we get past all the fun stuff we have here. Larry Nguyen, not Michael Myers this week, but he's coming, trust me. <laughs> Love food like I do, how you doing? Great to see you on here. Chris Kirkpatrick, big fan of your reviews. Are you gonna go see the new Halloween? I just reserved my Dolby tickets today, actually. So I cannot wait to see it. 9.45 show on the 18th on Saturday. Looking forward to it. So it is gonna be a lot of fun. So guys, coming up in about a little less than a minute to go, we're gonna jump, jump right to it because I gotta admit, when I tell you that I'm feeling a little uneasy about being here, I am not kidding with you right now. I've only been here maybe a handful of times at night and I'm usually with my wife or a friend of mine. Um, and I actually film one of my reviews here. Um, if you guys want a little preview quickly, you can do a quick search of the, uh, the Ghostbuster cupcakes and the Twinkies that I did a while back that has some fun effects with uh, ghosts and things like that in it. Um, but it was actually shot right across from where I am uh, standing here right now. 
So uh, yeah, we'll get into uh, where I'm at in just a second here. So it is eight o'clock officially on the dot. Welcome to the Friday Night Live Stream, everybody. My name is Ian K, creator, producer, and host of Peep This Out Reviews here on YouTube. It is Halloween month, in effect. I'm so excited to be actually in the month of October. It's my favorite time of the year, as you guys know. Um, I absolutely love this time of the year. My, aside from my birthday month, um, this signals the beginning of all the fun holiday stuff, but I am always a fan of the supernatural and just horror and things of that nature. So this is my time, this is my element. There's no reason why I should really feel as creeped out as I do right now. But the reason for that being is because where I'm at right now is the legit real deal. And I'm going to actually read you some stuff. And I've got some stuff prepared because when you guys come to my live streams, there's a format. I've got stuff for you. We've got things to do aside from the fun chat. So with that said, should you guys, let me just remind you, feel so inclined to donate to the channel. If you guys like what you see, of course, any and all donations are always welcome. You're not entitled. I'm not being forced to do that. But should you want to, you can always hit the super chat, which you'll see the little uh, icon down at the bottom of your chat thread right now. But you can also, if you want to stop giving YouTube any more money than they really need, there's a PayPal link in my description that you'll be able to find. It's paypal.me slash peep this out and that goes 100 percent directly to me if you guys wish to do that you can so enough about that you guys all know the drill um guys tonight for halloween actually for the month of halloween i am here at the pasadena colorado street bridge or the east colorado street bridge or um or more commonly known to as suicide bridge unfortunately and i'm actually going to tell you some of the history about this place before i actually give you a guided tour on exactly where a lot of crazy stuff went down here. So uh, forgive me if I am not um, keeping up with the chat as much as I would like to. I think you guys know I'm trying to do as much as I can with what I've got here right now. So um, if you guys want to interact with each other, please do. I'm so thankful you guys are here right now. Thank you so much. We've got 54, 52 people currently watching right now. 15 thumbs up. If this is your first time here on the channel, definitely consider subscribing. There's quality food reviews every single week, multiple times, along with these live streams, which I like to do. Um, sometimes on location. If you're here right now for the first time, this is going to be a treat for you because this is going to be, I think, one for the ages if it goes the way I'm thinking it's going to go. So just so you guys know, it is definitely uh, on here in Pasadena. There is a lot of haunted areas in this town. I think every town has got something going on somewhere. Um, Pasadena is pretty historic, but if you guys do a Google search for the Pasadena um, Colorado East Street Bridge or the Colorado Bridge or Suicide Bridge, you're going to see a lot of information that comes up. Now, what I'm going to read you is some of the detail of what I've got going here. Um, so forgive me, like I said, if I'm not looking up at the chat too much, I want to give you guys a breakdown on what we've got uh, going here. So. Uh, just so you know, um, this location is probably one of the most heavily haunted areas um, in Pasadena. There's a lot of things that have been seen here. Um, you guys are actually going to get the guided tour of a lot of what I'm going to show you in first person view. I'm going to swing my camera around and uh, I'm going to show you exactly uh, where we're going to go. We're actually going to go on the bridge. I'm going to show you what they're doing and I'm going to show you some of the measures that they're doing um, to prevent people from doing things that unfortunately they may feel the need to do. Um, and naturally, I'll give you an idea of uh, where you can call. If you know anybody who's having issues and things of that nature, of course, um, try and help as much as possible uh, for that. But just a little breakdown. I'm going to read you um, some stuff I found off the web. And again, once this, uh, this stream is over, I'm going to post this tomorrow morning, usually before 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You guys will have the link to where this information was found. You'll see some historical pictures of where this area is, some of the familiar lamps that you're going to see here. Um, all the old school stuff and it's creepy as hell. It's just creepy as hell. So let me just give you a quick breakdown. It is story time right now for you guys. So uh, let me give you a little brief history on exactly where I'm at because literally a few feet from where I am right now is where a lot of crazy stuff went down. So driving by the 134 freeway while in Pasadena, California, which is where we are, right, exactly where we are right now. Um, you can't help but be amazed by the spectacular view of the Colorado Street Bridge. Curving over the riverbed, it flaunts a very romantic old charm, and it's even more irresistible at night, as you guys may see in the back here, because of the lights that make it feel more alive that way. However, once you're on the bridge, you'll notice a shift in energy, and you usually feel the hair on the back of your neck rise, and I already feel it rising right now because it's, it's right behind me. <laughs> This is because of the dark history behind the bridge itself there, and it's what's earned its name, uh, Suicide Bridge, and for a reason. Some of those reasons date back to the 1930s. Um, a considerable number, unfortunately, of suicides um, especially have been reported during the Great Depression between those time periods, 1933, 1937, um, which is around the time the bridge gained its infamous nickname. 
So despite the bridge going under uh, renovations to reduce the number of suicides naturally, and you're going to see that, um, it retains that name to this day, and this is kind of unfortunately what it's known as. Now some of the hauntings here, just to give you a little breakdown, and I'm not going to say we're going to see anything, you never know, um, but this is some of the stuff that has actually been seen here. Some of this was new to me. So uh, the most famous ghost haunting that this bridge has um, is one of its construction workers. Um, and apparently the legend has it that a worker toppled over the bridge and fell into wet concrete down below in the cement. Um, he was left to die um, quickly in the drying cement, fusing with the bridge forever. So technically there could be somebody buried down there uh, right now as we speak. Uh, many believe uh, that he's the reason that the bridge has claimed so many lives. Now this is the legend now, that what they're going to say. Legend has it that he actually calls out to distressed individuals from below up to them, urging them to come to the bridge and jump off of it. Another ghost that you may come across is that of Myrtle Ward. She's a 22-year-old mother. Um, who took her life on May 1st, 1937. Myrtle took her three-year-old Jeanette, baby girl, um, to the bridge the morning after her husband had left her. Uh, apparently she walked over to the bridge, threw the baby over, and luckily the baby landed in the thick branches and the trees and was able to safely be brought to the ground um, with a few scratches, a few minor injuries. However, her mother wasn't as lucky, um, which is why she's usually seen haunting the bridge, searching for her baby. Now, that's, that's a ghost that I've heard of before, actually. Um, basically, she walks, she walks the pathway, and people actually have seen her multiple times. Um, aside from those two, numerous spirits of people who have perished there can be seen. Uh, two that have been witnessed frequently um, are that of a man with wire rim glasses and a woman in a white robe who stands on the parapets, which is actually, you're going to see these little areas where the lamps are, the lampposts are, um, as she prepares to jump off. So things have actually been seen there. Um, however, not all of the spirits here, apparently at Suicide Bridge, are peaceful. Uh, many people have reported hearing cries, screaming, uh, while wandering on the bridge, and members of a supernatural investigative unit have also come across hostile entities that have threatened and growled during EVP sessions, believe it or not. So, little disclaimer at the bottom says, therefore, head here with caution um, and don't try conducting a Ouija board session or anything else of that matter um, for risk of possession. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> In effect, guys, a little history of some of the goodies um, here. And again, all this information I'm going to actually link to down below. Um, but it's creepy. It's just creepy. Like I said, I've, I've known of all kinds of crazy stuff here. And unfortunately, um, a lot of the stuff that has gone on here um, still continues to go on here right now. Let me take a look at the chat here. Uh, bring your EVP. Yeah, I'm not going to be trying anything craziness like that as well. Uh, but yeah, no, no bueno for that. No bueno. <laughs> so... Um, there's routinely stories that we see here for the local news of people who actually, who still continue to this day, unfortunately. They come here and because of that, the city has taken measures to try and really blockade the area off. And it's no longer as pretty as it used to be. If you drive by it, um, there's plenty of fencing, there's plenty of gating, um, and it really doesn't look as nice as it did. But that's not going to stop the pathway from being open naturally because naturally cars have to go to and from and there is a pathway that goes, like I said, to and from. And uh, we're gonna check it out. I don't know how far we're gonna walk it <laughs> because it actually is feels crazy when you're like halfway through. Um, it definitely is creepy, but I figured if we're gonna start Halloween month off on the right foot, um, let's do it, you know, one foot in front of the other on a truly creepy, creepy place here. And like I said, I've only been here a handful of times. I'm only doing this for you guys right now. I hope you all appreciate this because my wife is like, what are you doing? I'm like, do you wanna come with me? And she's like, no. I'm like, well, <laughs> what do you want me to do? Um, I definitely wanna do this for you guys right now and uh, have a little fun here and, and really just show you a little bit more of historically um, the area that we're in. So what do you say we get a move on uh, right now? I'm gonna to switch to first person mode once I get closer to where we need to be. And just so you guys know, I've got a tripod attached to a little camera uh, I guess a crane of some type here holding my phone and to the right of that is another arm attachment that has a light on me right now So we are fully illuminated no matter how dark it's gonna get here. So um, When we get back from this naturally, we've got a little food review action for you and uh, It's gonna be a lot of fun. So let me just make sure my pathway is clear Yes, it is because this is kind of pseudo bright here and um, We'll give it a shot. But yeah, this is this is pretty crazy here right now guys. This is legit we are in Pasadena, California, approaching the historical Colorado Eastside Bridge or Suicide Bridge. I keep feeling if I keep saying that more and more, um, it's going to bring out things and I, I don't want to be brought out. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to see anything here right now. So uh, just so you know, this is the real deal. I'm here off the 134 freeway and uh, I tell you what, 
as you guys are staring at me here right now, I'm gonna go down the line here. You should walk the bridge. Yell if you see some peep this out. Nice, Andrew. You guys let me know if you want me to flip it around so we can start looking at the bridge now. Do you guys want to start seeing it? You want to start seeing some of the, uh, the sights and sounds? I'll wait right over here and if I get more people giving me the thumbs up that yes, we're going to do this right now, then I will definitely do it. So you guys want to see it? All right, so I'm going to be in first person mode. I'm switching my light around here. And we've got that up. Spirit says yes. All right, and here we go. All right, so you are seeing what I am seeing here right now, guys. And like I said, it is a little uncomfortable. Right next door is the famous Maxwell House. A lot of people do uh, weddings here. My wife does a lot of event coordinating here. Uh, so you're gonna see there's already grading here. You can see the fencing that they have up. This is basically what their city is trying to do to prevent tragedies, I guess, so to speak. So it's creepy. It's cold right now, I gotta admit. And uh, just so you know, I'll let you guys take a look at this here. If you guys wanna take that number down, I would recommend you do. It is definitely something that's important. And I gotta tell you, Funny thing is, I actually had some uh, engagement pictures taken here before they did all this gating during the day. Um, but these are the spots here. But let me just show you the historical. And I've actually posted some stuff on my Instagram about this right now. But just so you can take a look and see some of the history. Colorado Street Bridge, 1991-93, dedicated. This is when it was constructed. Some historical stuff on here for you guys. And for those of you tuning in right now, we are here at the Colorado Street Bridge, the historical suicide bridge. We'll be doing the quickie food review when we get back from doing this, if we make it back alive here right now. But hopefully you guys got to see that. You guys will be able to, uh, you can kind of see the shadow of my setup right there. I've got my light going, my attachment, my ring light on there. But very historical looking, um, just in terms of just the stuff here. It's just awesome. I mean, it's beautiful, but at the same time, freaky. So let's walk it, shall we? And just to show you, they have really gone crazy with the uh, fencing here. But as you can see, without the fencing, look how low it is. So technically anyone can kind of climb here and do these things. So, yeah, it's a little uncomfortable. <laughs> it is chilly and uh definitely feels very cold and breezy suddenly right now here this is the uh parapet area as you can see i bring it back here for you as you can see here this used to be all an open area but you know naturally it's crazy no no holy water robert no holy water <laughs> we'll go down a couple more here Unfortunately, this is the main bridge that people see through the freeway here. Actually, this is the 130 freeway in Pasadena. It leads right into the Rose Parade area, which is this main street, which drops you onto Colorado. And if my camera happens to pick anything up, you'll definitely be the first to know. But I got to tell you guys, it is very chilly here. For some reason, and I know that it's, it's very high up, I don't know if you can kind of see through the Mac, through the chain link here. I'll try and position it. That is the Maxwell House. That's a beautiful shot right there, guys. Take a look. Yes, Whitfield. What it do, brother? Thanks so much for jumping on. Shout outs to you and Jen. Wow, it is very chilly here. This is like, I'm not going to lie, guys. It's, it's bone chilling here. It, it is. I don't know if it's just a little bit of fear or just uneasiness. I know that this car is going by. But it's creepy. All right, we're gonna go down one more here because this is all pretty much the same. And I'll try and give you a look right over here to the left. We got 71 people here watching. Guys, this is the historic Colorado Street Bridge. And you guys will be able to hear some more of the history of this in the replay that I uh, talked about right before we came on here. Um, but a lot of haunted stuff going on here right now. Yes, I don't know if it's the same name. 
Nick, I don't know if it is, if it's the Maxwell, Maxwell House for Coffee, but you know, I'll take it. <laughs> Are you jumping off with a burger? <laughs> that might be the next review of some type. You never know. Whoa. I just... Did you guys hear anything? I don't... I thought I heard something to my left here real quick. Let me, uh, all right, well, okay, no, okay, good, all right, let me swing this around here so you guys can uh, see me real fast, I'm going to swing the light back, all right, okay, so we got a different look to this, and you gotta admit, it is a little freaky freaky right now. All right, I'll give you guys a better angle, wide angle shot here. Are you in Denver? No, this is Pasadena, California. Colorado Street Bridge. We got some people walking our way here right now, so all of a sudden, I don't feel as uncomfortable. <laughs> Hold on one second. It's, I do feel a little uneasy, I gotta be honest with you. Hang on one second. Hello. How you doing? Fine. How are you? Good, good. Thank you. Hello. We got joggers. We got runners. We got people walking their pets. Make it home safely. Please do. Okay. Little uncomfortable. We'll come on back and I'll see if I can give you a shot off to the side down below just to give you an idea uh, what is going on. But Nicholas, thank you so much. I appreciate you jumping on right now. We've got 65 peeps in the house. And again, thank you so much for, uh, for joining me here tonight. The start of our Halloween month live streaming on location. we got the Michael Myers house, the real Michael Myers house coming in a couple of weeks. And another classic location right after that, um, which I'm looking forward to. So let me see if I can swing this around. Wow, it is cold. Hang on one second here. All right. So, I don't know if you can kind of see, probably not. I got my tripod down over here. That pathway that you see right over there, right in the middle, that leads straight down um, into the very bottom and at the very end of it um, is a straight drop. So they do have some more fencing further up from there, but that's one pathway that they have blocked off here. Um, but as you can see, it is just crazy. Halloweenies know how to do it. You already know, Nicholas, you already know what it is. I'm going to bring this back to again, again, another historic view of Pasadena, Colorado Street Bridge. Very creepy, very, very creepy here. Don't let the cars driving by fool you to think that this is uh, feeling like a safe area. Um, they're in a car, they're going from point A to B. I'm sitting here out in the open like a freaking target. <laughs> All right, let's come back around this way again. I'm going to give you guys a little bit more tour of just some of the surrounding area. You guys let me know if anything is picked up. Kenneth Taylor, welcome, welcome. And again, guys, one more shot. Please, if you know anybody, or even if you suspect anything, reach out, be a voice, be a friend, and do the right thing. This is just the LA thing, but that number obviously is universal right over there. Man, this is really freaky. Let me come on down over here real quick for you. Guys, it gets warmer over here. I know that when you're on a bridge, it's gonna be a little bit cooler, but it got a little bit chillier than it needed to be there. But let me bring you guys on over. You can take a look. That's a light, it's not an orb. Kind of makes it look like an orb a little bit right there. A little creepy. A little creepy. <laughs> yeah, uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Ed Keaton, happy October to you as well. Happy October to you guys as well. All right, and then finally, one last shot of this before we head on back. This is the real deal. Nothing but the best for my peeps. You all know how we do it. Freddy's channel, welcome, welcome, welcome.
Great to see you guys on here. Rachel, thanks so much for jumping on. Ask the ghost to say, peep this out. I don't think they have to worry about new content every single week because if anyone's gonna follow me home right now, they already know what it is. <laughs> oh, super uncomfortable. Random guy, I'm new here and I like food reviews. Welcome, 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 welcome. Good, good stuff. All right, so let me keep this forward here because I want you guys, I'm gonna keep it forward here because I want you guys to kind of scan the area. And if you guys see anything, you let me know because sometimes on video, things are picked up in the naked eye. Love to see some ghost hunting videos on your live stream. We'll have to do something here. I'm really digging the setup that I made here. This thing rocks. I gotta tell you, I love this thing already. I cannot wait to use this more outside. And when you guys see the uh, Michael Myers house in a couple of weeks, that is gonna be the bomb diggity right there. And I know nobody uses that term anymore, uh, but <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. It's just an uncomfortable spot. And there, you know, I really thought there'd be more people here right now. I mean, I know it's like a Friday night, but there is like nobody really here. <laughs> so yeah, not, not cool. It is chilly though, I have to admit. Tam, how you doing? Great to see you guys on here right now. If you guys haven't hit that thumbs up down below, definitely smash it up. Please, please, please. It definitely helps the channel out, helps the video trend. Oh, what was that? Did you guys see anything fly in front of the camera? I think that was a moth. <laughs> Creepy. All right, give you guys a quick look. That's the Pete Mobile, you already know. <laughs> All right, we'll go down just a little ways over here. I'm not gonna go too, too far, because we'll come back because I really wanna try this review for you here right now. Hey guys, can you see me right there? I'm waving. All right. Robert, did I like Venom? I did. It wasn't horrible. The reviews I read afterwards actually were fairly accurate, but it was an enjoyable film. It wasn't bad. All right. Camera quality is very grainy. I hope not. Well, we're coming on back here. And we're gonna get into the review. Have a show called Ghost Hunters. Yes, I do like that show. I love all those types of things, to be honest. All right. We are back. All right, let me have you guys Hang for a second. I'm gonna give you guys something to look at right over here, which is just that while I'm getting ready. You guys can take a look. Uh, that is Orange Grove Boulevard, which crosses Colorado Boulevard. And this is the start of the Rose Bowl or the Rose Parade actually, um, here on Colorado Boulevard. Hang on one second. Let me get the goodies out for you. Right. All right. Hang on one second, guys. I'm gonna get set up. Let me swing this around. There we go. Let me come up just a little bit this way. And so I'm here. And I'm actually on kind of a high curb right now. So hang on one second here. There we go. All right. Is that fairly straight? Ah, oh, straight enough. All right, here we go. Better. All right, guys. Food review time. Can anybody guess what I am going to be taking a look at right now? Chances are you're probably seeing all kinds of uh, posts from all of your favorite creators right now putting out the... Uh, the post about everything that they've gotten in the mail recently. Can you guys possibly guess what we're gonna be taking a look at right now? If you guys have checked my Instagram recently, you're probably gonna know exactly what it is. Never heard of Diablo Doritos, Hedwig, but you know it's all good. But I gotta be honest with you, Hedwig, I saw the trailer to Glass again, and I gotta admit, I am super excited about the third movie in that Unbreakable trilogy. It's gonna be awesome. Booberry cereal? <laughs> no booberry cereal, no booberry cereal. All right, how are we doing on time here? We are at, cool, we are right on schedule, which is not bad at all. So, okay, you guys do me a favor, okay? I know I can kind of see around me here right now. 
just be on the lookout for anything. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'll swing it this way. Okay, Robert had a good time with Venom. Good. Very good. Very good. Fancy box of chips. Yeah, you would be uh, you would be correct there. I knew you were going to do it before you posted the pics. I'm psyched. <laughs> you already know what it is. You already know what it is. That's fast. That's quickly becoming my saying. I may have to make a shirt so that says you already know what it is. But yes, guys, like everybody else, I received the Diablo box in the mail from um, Taco Bell. I actually got this this past Monday. Um, it's been sitting with a whole bunch of other things on my living room floor. My wife didn't tell me about this. So this has actually been sitting for a minute. Um, opened this up today and of course I was not surprised to see what this was. I kind of figured the box itself had the typical um, Taco Bell tape. Kind of like when Amazon sends you packages. Um, it has like the Amazon logo on it and everything like that. Um, I got to tell you it was pretty cool right there. Uh, let me make your graphics for you, Ian. Dan, I think I do okay, but I appreciate the offer. I appreciate the offer. Uh, let's see, have I tried the new beef pepper at Yoshinoya? I didn't know they had anything new from Yosh, and I think the latest thing was the Asian um, meatballs that they had, which I reviewed a while back. So, I wanted to give you an idea of what's on the inside of this. Like I said, if you've already seen my Instagram, you already know I've opened this up one already, and as expected, it is three of the flavors currently available right now. Now, fire is my absolute favorite um, sauce from Taco Bell, and I gotta be honest, I really enjoyed that personally. Um, if you guys wanna see the original live stream that I actually did the original flavors on, I'll make sure to link that down below as well in the description once this actually goes live, and you can find this in the community tab on my channel, as well as the live stream playlist. I've actually moved that up on the uh, page, actually, so that way when you guys get to my homepage, um, without having to go there, you're gonna see it there. So. We'll have to see what's going on with that there. But guys, we're gonna take a look at the Diablo chips. And I figured, guys, it's the perfect time for Taco Bell to release this. And I think I said something to that effect when I replied on uh, Instagram and I tagged them on this here saying, of course, October is the month. Um, pretty awesome with that as well. Uh, Outlaws Generation, what it do? Mike, how you doing, man? Let's see, talk to Dame Drops. He wants to be a guest on my podcast. Cool, 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 cool. How do you get Taco Bell to send you those chips? You know, they actually reached out to me and they asked me for my contact info a while back. Um, I actually did some sponsored stuff for them. They actually used some of my material um, for some of their commercials, I should say. I didn't actually do a sponsored video, but they wanted to use my stuff um, in a commercial they did a while back for one of the breakfast items, I believe it was, the breakfast um, biscuits back in the day when they were doing those things. So they actually um, added me on, I guess, their list and I received the first box, which I actually saved that box and I'm gonna be saving this Diablo box as well. Um, but guys, Diablo tortilla chips right over here. So pretty cool looking, uh, just for with the bag itself here. It looks pretty reminiscent of what the actual uh, packaging is for the Diablo sauce. Now, for those of you guys who already know or don't know, I'm not a fan of Diablo sauce personally. I think it has more of like a metallic type of taste to it. Not so much a heated taste, um, but just kind of grainyish metallic for me. So fire is my favorite and the chips were pretty awesome, I got to admit. Um, but this actually is the newest flavor, and like I said on that post today on Instagram, this is the perfect month to do this, right? I mean, guys, it's Diablo. How could they not do it in the month of October? It's Halloween. So, these are right now are exclusive to 7-Eleven. As of October 1st, you can actually pick these up at 7-Eleven. I'm not sure the price point. I wouldn't expect it to be more than a couple of bucks. Um, if that, so you guys let me know. Um, if you see the, the, what the price point is, I don't even know. I haven't been to 7-Eleven since these have actually been out. Um, do me a favor. Drop something down in the uh, comments over there and let me know um, how much these go for at 7-Eleven because I'm kind of curious. Considering the bag, I can't see this maybe more like a, a buck 59, a buck 69. Now keep in mind it's West Coast and maybe a little bit more, uh, but let me know, you know, just what it is there. Uh, is that Justin? Justin in the house? It is. Fast food pit stops. What it do, brother? Thanks so much for jumping on. We're here at the Colorado Street Bridge, Suicide Bridge here in Pasadena. All kinds of goodies for you to take a look at on the replay. If you haven't seen it already, um, you'll have that much more to relive in the community tab tomorrow before 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But the Diablo chips from Taco Bell. Introducing Taco Bell's new Diablo tortilla chips. Start with a crunch followed with a hint of lime, a kick of hot peppers, and the heat that deserves its own warning label. Hence, this is my warning label. <laughs> Think you can handle my flavorful inferno. So kind of cool with this here right now. And um, I'm okay with heat. I mean, my tolerance has gone up since I've been doing reviews now for a little over five years. It's kind of crazy to think that, how many videos I have on my channel, but love it, love it, love it still. I'm gonna give you guys the first look. I'm not even gonna smell this on the inside. And as expected, they are black chips, just like they are on the outside of the label. Mr. Jimmy, what it do? Thanks so much for jumping on. We are definitely here at the Pasadena, Colorado Street Bridge, Suicide Bridge, the Haunted Bridge. 
Um, you can definitely check out the replay for all the goody footage of that from earlier. But Diablo chips, guys. Justin is saying careful, okay? So I know Justin, you're probably gonna be reviewing these as well. I'm gonna definitely take a look. I'm gonna take a look at some of these reviews. I haven't seen anything on this just yet, so I'm very curious to see what people are gonna say about this. Um, but like I said, I really enjoyed them for what they were. And uh, I gotta admit, this, uh, I like the black chip. I mean, I definitely am a fan of that there. Let me go for a quick aroma smell test, and then we'll get into it. Smell like a seasoned tortilla chip. Like it's definitely got some season. Wow. Wow. I don't know if you guys can see this in the light. Let me uh, let me see if I can reflect off of it. Focus right there. Hang on. Do you guys see that? It looks like it's got some devilness peppered all throughout that black chip. That's a little misleading on the bag to show a little bit of stuff there, but a lot of stuff there. Look at that. That's a little ridiculous there. All right, let me focus in the middle. Yeah, that's uh, that's a little nutty. That's a little nutty looking. Oh yeah. Justin, I think you may be right, man. <laughs> guys, look at that. I gotta focus this, because you guys gotta appreciate this. You really gotta appreciate this right here. Hang on. Look at this. Look at the dust. I know it's trying to focus on the light, but look at the dust on this. These are pretty heavily dusted right now. Joey reviewed the Diablo chips and didn't even flinch. We'll see if it's more bark than bite. We're about to find out right now. So just to be on the safe side, I've got a lightly damp cloth here for any type of wiping I may have to do <laughs> my face. But here we go, guys. Taco Bell's new Diablo tortilla chips. Let's see how amazingly awesome they are from Suicide Bridge here in Pasadena, California right now. Live in effect here, guys. Live in effect. If you guys haven't hit that like button down below, smash it right now. Let's do it up. Here we go. Come on, give it to me. I know you're trying. I know you're trying. Give it to me. Come on. I'm waiting. I am not really getting anything. Oh, hope. Oh, it's fast. That's a, that's a fast burn. Oh, that's a fast burn. Yeah, that's. <laughs> oh man, that's pretty good actually, man. Okay. And I didn't bring anything to drink. Wonderful. <laughs> okay, I can kind of tolerate this right now. Just give me a second. All right, now let's get into the back of my throat real quick. All right, hang on. <laughs> oh, lovely. Lovely. I come to Suicide Bridge. I don't have a drink. At least I got some light on me right now so you can see the glistening of my forehead going right now. All right, now it's beginning to back off just a little bit. Okay, very similar to the fiery one, and I kind of expected, I thought it was gonna be something like that. Spicy, this is definitely spicier than that, but not to the degree where I'm really being super impacted. Now, as I'm talking, my mouth is beginning to water hardcore because of that spice that's in the back of my throat here right now. But, it's still kind of resonating just a bit. So it hangs, it definitely hangs. And I guess the dead giveaway with this is the fact that they are pretty heavily dusted. I mean, you can see that dusting on there, guys. Ed says, what is your favorite store-bought brand of hot sauce and why? Okay, did you get to see the trailer for the mule with Clint Eastwood? I did not, I did not. Favorite store-bought hot sauce? Um, honestly, sriracha is kind of what I use more often than not. So. Um, in terms of just the actual sauce itself, a little bit of Tabasco, nothing crazy. I mean, I really couldn't say anything specific. Oh, yeah, that's definitely hanging just a little bit. Let me go for one more of these, do another little quick breakdown, just of some of the flavor of the chip itself, texture, crunch. But just so you guys know, they are pretty crunchy, obviously. Here we go again. Mmm. Let me take a look and see how they're getting that color like that. All right, fruit and vegetable juice give it the color. 
It doesn't say exactly what fruit, per se, but yeah, this is definitely a lot stronger. And I have to be honest with you, like I said in the beginning, Diablo is not my favorite because of the metally type of taste that I think it's got when I try it on Taco Bell's regular food. But I like the chip version of it, believe it or not, too. So, wouldn't get it for my regular Taco Bell meal. I'd still go for Fiery. But I would get the chip just if I wanted to get something a little kicked up because it definitely feels a little bit more elevated than the Fire. Now, in terms of lime, I may be getting that initially in the beginning just a little bit. But... It's not super strong. I mean, it's kind of there, nothing crazy. Robert, yes, the Aquaman trailer. Man, if you guys have not seen that five minute plus trailer from Aquaman that premiered this morning, absolutely awesome, absolutely awesome. Crumble the chips on your Taco Bell items, Sarah Star. That's actually a very good idea. A little extra crunch can go a long way, especially when things start to get a little soggy, right? When you get your stuff there. That's a good, that's a good call on that. But guys, very appropriately labeled, this is my warning label. This has got a nice amount of heat. Nice amount of heat initially. I'm feeling moist right now. Don't get it twisted because I'm telling you, it, I'm beginning to kind of sweat from this just a little bit. So that's actually really nice. The effect is nice on this. For any of you uh, nutritional peeps that want to know, 140 calories for about 11 chips, about three servings per container. So we're looking at about 33, 35 chips or so. Eight grams of fat per serving. Total carb 16, dietary fiber one, sugar one, protein two, but you know, it's all the same stuff. All typical chips are about 150, 160 calories with about eight to 10 grams of fat per serving. So pretty, pretty tasty guys. The Diablo chips, definitely the truth. Um, I didn't see it in the chat real quick here right now. Yes, slow burn. It is definitely a slow burn, Justin. You are right about that. I'm gonna have to take a look at your thoughts on this one, my friend, because it is easily, um, starts off with like nothing, and then all of a sudden, sizzle right in there as well. So nice on this. I would definitely recommend giving this a shot. And again, the color in there is legit. Like I said, I mean, it is not as dark as what you see there. I mean, it's close, but the dusting is really nice on this, guys. Really, really good. But like I said, when it comes to the other two um, in this box, the actually the regular, uh, the mild one, which is decent. Those are kind of just like little seasoned chips, if anything there. And then, the fiery one versus right over here. That's actually one of my favorites by far. I mean, I have got that on occasion. Pretty nice, pretty nice. And again, shout out to Taco Bell if you guys are watching right now. I don't think you are, but if you do, if you are watching, appreciate this. Keep me on that list for sure and I will absolutely um, check these out. I love doing these types of reviews on live stream with you guys because I want the effect exactly as I'm filming it. One take all the way through as it is is what you get. Um, and that's really the, uh, the best way to do it there. So, um, at least for me. But definitely for the chip action, I would recommend these Diablo chips for sure. What was the price on this? Did you guys actually uh, post this up in the chat here? I didn't get a chance to uh, take a look. I'm gonna be going back and reading this, um, the chat after, just to kind of see. Let me know if you guys know how much these are, because uh, we'll have to see what's going on with that. All right, Elizabeth Ricard, streams are F for comments getting seen. You know, there's a lot that's in there, but naturally, and not them saying you should do super chatting or anything like that, because that does highlight. That's the whole purpose of the super chats. They want you to do that. Actually, YouTube wants you to do that, because they want to get paid too at the same time. So some people are saying four bucks? Four bucks for the Diablo chips for that little bag? I mean, these may be samples, right? I mean, you guys let me know, because I'm, I'm assuming that that's the size that you're gonna get at 7-Eleven, like if it's on the snack area right there as well. So we'll have to see. So Robert, Suicide Bridge in Pasadena. Yes, for anyone asking right now, we are here in Colorado Boulevard at the end of Colorado, right before it goes into the freeway right over here at the historic Suicide Bridge in Pasadena. And uh, I know I read this stuff earlier to you guys, but lots of things that have been seen here in the past, um, a lot of tragedy stuff here as well, and things that have been seen, um, apparition, things of that nature. Here on the bridge, it's been pretty, uh, pretty crazy here, I gotta admit. And, you know, fortunately, uh, you guys are here with me right now as witness to all this stuff. I'm like, I'm really freaked out by the fact that there is nobody here right now. Usually, the times that I've been here, there are people that are walking their dogs, they're doing their jogging, they're doing their regular Friday night routine. Now, I know it's here, it's like, what, a little after 8 o'clock, almost like 9 o'clock now at this point? We'll have to see. Carol is on the stream. She jumps on. Thanks so much for jumping on. Carol Juju in effect. 
the wifey. Good times, good times. Let's see, Sonic Jet, what it do? Thanks so much for jumping on. Ed Keaton, you really want a good hot sauce? There's one called El Yucateca. Never heard of that one there. Yellowbird habanero, can imagine. <laughs> Anything with habanero in there, uh, for sure. I would imagine it's gonna be pretty crazy like that. Okay. Freddy's channel, he's not ignoring you, he's looking out for ghosts. I apologize if anyone is trying to ask a whole bunch of questions while I was doing that review right over there. Next review is gonna be on, most likely, a burger because there's a couple of reviews that are almost finished and one is a little bit more ahead of the other. So uh, stay tuned very, very soon. You may have seen a certain story on a certain website that broke a little bit earlier today for what one of them may be. <laughs> and that's all I'm gonna say on that right now. Frankie James, I'm always ignored, but that's okay because I'm garbage. Oh, come on now, Frankie, that is not true. Shout outs to everybody on the stream here right now for spending a little bit of your evening with me. I appreciate you jumping on. Mr. Jimmy at the Misses is on the live chat. You already know what it is. Ali A, thank you so much for jumping. Thank you. I appreciate you coming on tonight. We got 57 peeps in the house right now, currently hanging pretty consistent. 34 thumbs up if you guys have not hit that thumbs up down below. Definitely smash that button if you like quality content and if you like on location reviews, without a doubt. Sonic Jet, go down to South Pasadena on mission. Check out Trader Joe's, I love pretzels, cool. I'm actually gonna be on mission uh, in a couple of weeks when we're at the Michael Myers house. You're gonna see the real deal. Am I gonna throw toilet paper at a house? Technically I could. <laughs> if I really wanted to. All right, we got people coming around here right now. Let's see if they're gonna park or come this way. Looks like not. Oh yeah, what's the rating on the chips? Tony, my God, where are my manners? Where are my manners? You know, with this, I'm gonna do a straight nine out of 10 because it delivers on what it is. Actually, a lot better than the sauce. Nine out of 10 for the Diablo tortilla chips from Taco Bell. These are actually really, really solid. Just above the fiery and nice quality. Definitely nice quality. The chips are fresh, everything is clean. In terms of just the flavor, it's authentic. And I have to admit, the quality uh, for what it is, is is awesome. It really is. This is really cool. Whatever they're gonna do next sauce-wise, I think they've exhausted just about everything at this point. It would have to be something kind of specialty. Um, we'll have to see what they do next because I gotta, I gotta admit, you know, I think everyone expected to see Diablo, right? I mean, is that what it is? Uh, but really good stuff here, guys. Really good stuff. So shout out to Taco Bell again. Keep doing what you do. Um, I definitely love reviewing uh, the stuff that you've got on there. Every time you come out with new stuff, literally every month, if it's uh, something brand new, I love checking it out. Frankie Jane, 9 out of 10. Got to peep them out again for show. And Robert saw Venom last night. I did. I'll just tell you right now, spoiler-free uh, review. It was fun. I mean, it wasn't the greatest movie, but it was fun. The action sequences, they were cut well. They were edited nicely. Um, story was decent for what it was, even though it's not the original story uh, for Venom's origin. It's more of the New Age version, the New Universe version of Marvel. Um, so that's a little bit of a bummer. But the character looked fantastic, a lot of the same, um, you know, the way the mannerisms, the way that he looked on page was pretty much uh, transferred to the movie pretty nicely. It looked, the, the design was great. Um, so definitely, definitely appreciate it. Tiffany, yes, thank you so much. I appreciate you smashing that like button down below. Big bite, big bite. Justin's in effect. The beast himself, you already know what it is. Fast food pit stops in the house here right now. We've got an amazing community of people, as you guys know. Um, and if you see anyone that has um, anything like, you know, rec obviously you're going to recognize some of the, uh, the other content creators that do a lot of the same things in the community there. Of course, Fast Food Pit Stops, um, Outlaws Generation, that's on there, Freddy's channel as well, Freddy's Food Reviews, um, Sarah Star Vlogs and Reviews. Anytime you see any of those familiar avatars and the names, jump on over, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's keep that community going as always. You already know what it is, and it's all about keeping the community moving there. So, nice, interesting stream, Elizabeth says. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I gotta admit, when I got here and I was setting up, it was uh, a little, little uncomfortable. And now that as we're rounding the bend here just a little bit, um, I'm glad to be uh, a little bit more calmer <laughs> for what it is. Uh, Sonic Jet started with him and then Ken Domic, now it's Justin and Ian. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I appreciate being included in the rotation there. I know a lot of you guys watch a lot of the content from everybody else and it means a great deal um, because we all have different viewpoints and we all do it in our own different way. But that's the cool thing about it because I usually get questions of people saying, you know, how many times am I going to see the, this review, the same review from like four or five different people? Well, four or five different people don't say the exact same thing and they don't do it the same way. So that would be the incentive to see if what they're going to say is going to be similar and vice versa. So we'll have to see. Uh, Kenneth, big fan of your stuff. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. 
Let's see, Outlaw, I hope to do an interview on podcast sometime on the weekends, and the uh, weekends are the only times that you're free cool. Yeah, I know, I know what that's like schedule-wise, Outlaw, for sure. I am uh, constantly, constantly busy, it feels like here. I just, uh, <laughs> I gotta be honest, you guys probably can't tell the bags under my eyes, maybe you can, but I am just beat. I am super, super tired. Um, so we'll have to see. I know next Friday I'm most likely not going to be streaming, just to let you guys know right now, um, just because of some things that I have to do that I know is going to be pushing the envelope time-wise and I don't want to have to worry about it. Um, but just keep in mind the following week after that will be the big one in front of uh, Mikey's house, which is going to be a blast to do. And I will be kind of putting some promo out for that early. Um, speaking of which, did you guys see any of the promo on Instagram I did today? I'm trying these new emojis and things like that because I want to try and get a little bit more active on IG um, with some of the story because I feel like I just want to kind of be out there a little bit for you. Um, I don't know if you guys like seeing stuff like that, if you always want to see stuff in your feed, um, but let me know what you guys think of me putting stuff up on Instagram, just letting you guys know because Instagram is my main thing even though Twitter goes out for a lot of links. Um, Instagram um, is where I have most of my social followers on top of my Facebook page and then Twitter, um, but it's usually Insta is where I'm a little bit more accessible quicker. Um, so you let me know what you guys prefer, naturally, because, you know, I want to do what's best for, uh, for you guys as well as the channel. Um, Sonic uses YouTube and Facebook, sometimes Twitter, okay? Sarah, did your headache get better? It is definitely better, but I got to admit, Sarah, I'm feeling a little decompressed right now. I still feel like a little cool, like in my forehead, but, um, you know, I've been trying to, like, not drink as much coffee, so to speak. Um, even though I kind of faltered a little bit last night, which by the way guys before I actually was thinking about doing this Diablo when my wife reminded me I had this package sitting in my, <laughs> sitting on my floor uh, for a while I wanted to kind of redo um, the baked pumpkin pie from Mickey D's because I know I actually did that review already uh, But some people have been starting to reply on some of those older videos and I actually um, Went and I tried it last night again, and it turns out it's just a standard pumpkin pie. There's no cream in it this time um, But 89 cents for what it was it was baked ultra fresh, ultra creamy, melt in your mouth type of like creaminess. It was almost like butter. It was so good. Had it with a large coffee for a buck. Um, it was pretty awesome. Which incidentally, unsponsored comment right now. And yes, Ali, I'm in Pasadena, right here at the uh, Pasadena Suicide Bridge, Colorado Street Bridge in Pasadena. Um, today is the trick or treat and win game from McDonald's starting here right now. So definitely take a look at the, uh, the app and uh, try and win yourself some prizes there for sure. Kenneth, are you about to watch 2018 Scary Movie Halloween? Yes, I cannot wait to see it. I cannot wait to see it. Ed, are you going to do Blair Witch Cheaters Camp style when you do the uh, Michael Myers house? Well, you know, right next door, there's a gallery going on where they actually use a lot of the publicity from the Michael Myers house to actually kind of funnel people into what they have set up there. And they have official pictures, official prop stuff um, from the original movie. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff in there. And I've been in there a few times. I've done some streams um, on Instagram. So you'll probably see if I can try and get in there a little bit. Maybe I'll see if I can, you know, finagle it. But at least the outside you'll see. And then we'll do stuff in front of the house. And I actually have something um, interesting for you to check out review-wise, which I've actually had uh, sitting for a bit in my place I really want to try. Um, so I'll save that for then um, because it actually is uh, super interesting. Uh, so we'll just uh, we'll leave it at that. Uh, but definitely cool stuff. So yes, Robert, yes, he already know what it is. Pasadena Suicide Bridge in effect. All right, live your life. Da, 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 da. Computer blue. Larry Nguyen says people are so rude. Everyone's entitled to their opinion, but it's just that. Remember that. Kenneth, you have a good one. I appreciate you jumping on tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I think we've got about another 10 minutes left. You guys let me know if you want to take another quickie walk over to uh, Suicide Bridge real fast here. If you guys want to see that again, let me know. If I see enough thumbs up, we'll go for a walk. For those of you who are... Uh, Late comers coming into the stream here right now. If you want a little uh, redo, I'll be happy to walk over. We've got about 10 minutes or so left. Appreciate you guys. 38 thumbs up, 57 people in effect right now. Ed Keaton, favorite theme song or artist that's associated with Halloween. It's always going to be John Carpenter's original. Although I have to admit the new one with his son um, is actually pretty good. A good interpretation, a good upbeat interpretation of it. All right, thumbs up, thumbs up. You guys want to go over there? All right, it looks like we've got more people that want to go there than not. So, I think we will do that actually right now. I'm gonna put the Diablo goodies. There you go, in effect, back in the car. So hang on one second here, guys. And, all right. 
here too. TJ Gaming. Getting up to work catching your stream. Have to watch the replay show. It's going on. Cool, TJ. I appreciate you jumping on. And again, the replay will be available tomorrow before 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And actually, let me adjust this. There we go. Straight. All right. We're going to go for another walk because I know the wifey is on here watching this right now. And uh, I appreciate you uh, coming with me tonight, babes. I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> Just kidding, just kidding. All right, I'm gonna turn the bend over here right now. Um, you guys are witnesses to this in effect. We're gonna go for another walk. For those of you guys who are late bloomers or late comers to the stream, I'm gonna switch this around and uh, we are gonna see if anything wants to say hello, so to speak here. So, here we go. This is for all of you guys. Let's do this. And again, all the stuff I read to you guys in the very beginning of the stream, you'll be able to find that in the description box down below. I probably should have linked to it um, already, but whenever I do this on mobile, I have to do this literally on the fly, so I couldn't kind of get this ready in time. Hey guys, do me a favor. Did you see my new thumbnail when the stream came up? I want to know if you guys saw the new graphic. Let me know if you saw the uh, ghost graphic or kind of like the Halloween theme graphic that says streaming live. Let me know if you've seen it because I uploaded it from my phone. I want to make sure it was a picture of that and not just my face going, hey. <laughs> but let me know if you saw it. Peep this out reviews if you saw that on your uh, your feed. Good. Sarah Star Vlogs, everyone says a Kyle Broussard. Excellent, excellent. The one with the ghost. Yes, you know it. Very cool. Should have offered chips. I think what I'm going to do when we get here is I'm going to do a little prayer for people. I'm not gonna get all superstitious or philosophical or getting all crazy sentimental that way, but there has been a lot of people, thousands and thousands of people throughout the years that have uh, actually done things here, obviously. And uh, it's one of the reasons why it has the reputation. And again, give this to you one more time. Very important, do the right thing for the people. If you know anybody, Anybody that you think may need help or anyone, just reach out, do the right thing, be a human being and help. It's a crazy, crazy situation. And again, I'll give you this little replay here. And you guys can see, here's the setup of my stuff. As you can see, it's a pretty cool setup on my tripod with my ring light here. I really like this thing. It's handheld, very easy to do. And again, for those of you guys just seeing this, pretty historic. Lots of people like to come walking. This goes all the way straight down to the Mar Vista exit. And the Rose Bowl is right over here, but naturally you can't see it because it's dark. Very cool, Ed saw it as well, nice. Scream out, stay frosty! <laughs> All right, I'll come over here one more time for you. You know, it's funny because one of my engagement pictures that I took with the wifey was right where those people were at the first um, parapet right there where the lamps were. And we'll come over here one more time. Stay frosty as well, Kenneth, thanks so much. Oh, Robert, I'm sorry to hear that, my friend. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's a, it's a creepy joint here. It, it definitely is a creepy joint here. But again, historic because the map house is... Let me give you guys another look at that. Let's see if I can try to focus in. There you go. That is the Maxwell House. It's a beautiful hotel. Do a lot of stuff there. I wouldn't say hotel itself, but they do a lot of entertaining. Let's see if I can focus in. There you go. Again, there's that chill. It gets very chilly here. This is a little uncomfortable already again. I think I'm gonna... <laughs> anyway, this is the area right over here that I actually took my one of my engagement pictures with the wifey, who I know is watching this here right now. This is where we were. Larry, thanks so much for jumping on. I appreciate you. Yell out, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Marco, crazy. So any questions that you guys have, actually, Rachel, there you go right there. Ask some questions. Let's see. Hmm. 
Well, let me offer my prayers, my condolences, and my heartfelt wishes to anyone who may be here, who still feels the need to be here. I wish you nothing but safe passage wherever you are, nothing but peace. And know that you are welcome if this is where you wish to stay. I mean you no harm. Nobody on the stream here watching this right now means you any harm. It's more of a curiosity here. But no matter what you believe in, no matter what spiritually, what faith you may have, I wish nothing but good things for good people and for those suffering to find peace and harmony in whatever they may be going through. Whether it be physical, mental, and if anyone is here with me right now, just know my heart is in a good place and I mean no harm. Because it feels very chilly right here right now and I really am going to start walking back. I am not, not joking. <laughs> I'm not joking right now. Yeah, I, uh, I'm going to head back. <laughs> All right, so... Yeah, it's uncomfortable. What was that? Again. Again, I heard something again. I think maybe I just walked by because it's clanging of the fence. It's like clinging of the fence when I walked by and I didn't touch it. No. Oh. Alright. Let me swing it this way here. I might have my camera real fast so you guys can see. This is me. All right, let's come around. Uh, Sonic, how about going over to Hooters? I don't remember, Hooters is not on Colorado anymore. <laughs> I don't believe it is. Purgatory is being stuck in an empty Kmart in the early 90s forever, just saying. Nice. So again, glad to give you guys a look at this here. And like I said, if there are any spirits, if there is anything here right now, my heart is in a good place. I mean no disrespect. I mean no harm. And I am glad to uh, try and give some positive energy to you to let you know that no matter what you may be going through, find peace, find something to make it easy. No matter where you are, creepy. All right, let me bring this around here. I'm going to let you guys see that I am back. Ooh, okay. All right, I'm not going to candy coat it right now, but that was a little bit more uncomfortable the second time, even though we didn't go that far in. It's a little chillier. I know it's getting a little bit later at the same time, but a little uncomfortable, I have to admit. So I'm glad this is over right now because where we're going next is going to be a little bit more uh, populated, I guess you should say, with people. <laughs> so, a little uncomfortable that way. But uh, anyway, as we're walking back over here, um, again, lots of fun. Definitely, if you guys haven't checked out the latest review, it was definitely a lot of fun to do a one-day only thing. Um, 24 karat champagne wings from Popeyes. Um, which was really interesting. I've never had edible gold before, um, even though it was five bucks <laughs> for it. Um, but a lot of fun to check that out there. Apparently there were four locations celebrating the 3,000th location in Elizabeth, New Jersey for Popeyes, an opening brand new 3,000th location. And um, to do that, they had four locations that were offering um, really an interesting promo, which was really something that I'm really pushing to see if uh, they can do that uh, nationally. And if you guys want to see that nationally, take a look at the poll that I put on my video there. And I don't know if Popeye's going to be looking at that or you know, if people watch that review or whatever they market research, but um, definitely select yes if you want to see that nationally because it was super fun. Champagne infused batter and then 24 karat gold edible flakes dusted on top it was just a blast to check out. I got to admit, it was really cool. Um, so without a doubt, um, check out that video if you haven't seen it already. Uh, pastrami sandwich from the hat. That sounds really good right now. Drew says, what's for dinner? 
you know what? I'm gonna pick up the wifey and uh, we're gonna do something. I gotta be honest with you. I don't know what we're gonna do yet, um, but I gotta be honest, I'm kind of burgered out. <laughs> maybe tacos, maybe something like that. We'll have to see, I don't know, but um, we'll have to see what's up with that. Today I went to KFC, had a 10 piece bucket, lots of chicken, Sonic says. If I were there, I would share some with you. Thank you, man, I appreciate that. KFC does sound pretty good. Sarah, I was sad Popeye's chicken wasn't here. You know, like I said, hopefully they go national with that. There's a little bit of a rumbling that they might. Um, I can't really confirm or deny just yet there, but I've kind of heard little things. The management there um, was really nice. I didn't get a chance to ask them, but certain information afterwards I was finding out. Um, it's very possible we could see something in the future there, but a lot of fun. The location that I went to that you saw in the film there, in the review, um, that was their opening day, um, actually. There was a brand new location. It was beautiful. I got to admit, it was really, really a blast. Um, but a lot of fun taking a look at the uh, the footage of that. A lot of fun doing that. Chili cheese fries from the hat. Robert, I think you may be onto something right there. That sounds really good right now. Maybe a little bit of pastrami on the top like I did for my review back in the day. Uh, I appreciate that as well. Guys, to anyone who has donated to the channel, I haven't seen anything through the chat um, here just yet, but if you guys are hitting the PayPal link down below, uh, let me just thank you in advance if you guys have done that. If not, that link is there should you wish to do that. Uh, I'm all about delivering that quality content, so that's where you'll find those links uh, for you there. So if anyone has, you will definitely see your name in lights in the thank yous for the description for this review. Um, once it goes live for the stream, I should say, uh, tomorrow before 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And uh, as we round out the last minute or so here right now, to all of you guys who have joined me right now, this has been a lot of fun and more of a proof of concept or just to kind of see if I could because I wanted to test my new lighting rig, uh, my handheld camera here. So would you guys recommend I use this for the outside filming going forward? Because I, I dig it already, I gotta admit. this It's stable and, and the lighting is even. Um, give me the thumbs up if it looks good to you, if everything looks all right on your side and you're liking the quality. Um, I definitely want to make sure that you guys have the experience that is exactly like you see on my channel with my reviews um, to do for you there as well. And keep in mind, I also kind of vet the areas that I go to to make sure that the signal from my network is good so that way you guys can see it as clear as possible and the quality of the reception and the sound and everything is good. So awesome, 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 awesome. I appreciate that. So if I can just tell you guys just to help advertise for my other peeps in the community here right now, Sarah Star Vlogs and Reviews has got her streams going. Um, Sarah, if you want to drop into the chat right now, let people know when your stream is on Saturday, what time. Um, that would be awesome. Outlaws Generation, if you can do the same thing, let peeps know if you're on here right now as well. Anyone who is a creator on the stream here right now, if you guys do live streaming, I'm a whole huge fan of the live stream format. I think it's excellent for connecting with your audience, for really honing skills, um, for really just having a blast and just connecting with your community. Definitely make sure um, you have in some form of, of live streaming incorporated into your content. I mean, it's just, it's gotta be there because it really is so much fun to do um, as well. But drop into the chat, any uh, creators on the stream here right now, let people know when you actually have your streams, um, any content that you come out with, anything, anything at all whatsoever for your channel for sure. Please, 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 um, please do that there. So um, I'll wait just another minute or so to see if anyone can catch up here in the chat because I know there's a little bit of a delay. Um, but just so you guys know there, KVD Productions TV, Ken, how you doing, man? Thanks so much for jumping on. I was just rounding out the evening right now. We had an amazing time here at Suicide Bridge in Pasadena, not far from the Gamble House, but we actually uh, did a sightsee from the West Coast food tour from back in the day with KVD Productions TV. A lot of fun there. But for any creator, like I said, who is on the live stream kick, or if you're not, jump on there and uh, definitely rep your channel. Um, when you guys actually do your live streaming, if you guys want to drop it in there, uh, let people know when you live stream, how often, when your content schedule is. That we want to make sure that people are definitely doing their due um, and getting the publicity that they need for their channel. There, everybody who's a creator um, has an opportunity to do their uh, success justice by doing live streaming. I can't stress it enough. It's just so much fun to do, um, but a lot of fun definitely tonight, guys. I got to admit, and naturally, KBD Productions in the house. We had fast food pit stops in the house. Um, Sarah Star Vlogs and Reviews, Outlaws Generation. Freddy's Food Reviews or Freddy's channel as well too there and all the other amazing creators that are here. Um, thank you so much for joining me on this very spooky, very haunted evening getting Halloween month uh, kicked off here right now. Now I won't be here next Friday um, because of some stuff like I said that I have going on but the following week, the 19th, we were going to be on site for the Michael Myers house. So put that on your calendar and you're going to see the same setup with this in front of a historic spot. It is going to be awesome. So I've done actually that in the past. If you want a little preview of the house, 
You can take a look at my review of the uh, Cheetos Bag of Bones from way back when. I actually did the uh, Cheetos Flame and Hot version of it um, last week. You can take a look at the link from there. Um, but a lot of good stuff there, I gotta admit. Um, I'm looking forward to it there. You stay frosty as well, Freddie. I appreciate you. And uh, again, just to give you a little quick pano tour here as I focus in, right over here for Suicide Bridge, guys. This is uh, one of the most haunted spots in uh, Pasadena, if not LA, to be honest. It's, uh, it's pretty crazy. Again, I'm gonna find some of the stuff on there, um, some of the links so you guys can see the uh, information that I read earlier. Um, I actually printed this stuff out. KBD, Ken, are you using an iPhone? No, Galaxy S9 Plus. And I love it, love it, love it, Ken. Absolutely, huge fan of Android, huge fan. But again, everything I read from earlier, all the ghost story stuff, everything that I pulled off of there, you're gonna be able to find this, uh, that link along with those pictures I was talking about in there as well. So take a look at that tomorrow before 12 p.m. I'm shooting for, and uh, you'll have a lot of fun stuff to look forward to as we get closer to Halloween as well. Robert, graduated from Alhambra High School. Man, I graduated from Mark Keppel. Class of 91, back in the day. You already know what it is. I know I'm saying that a lot tonight. Andrew, you have a frosty week as well. Great job on your recent reviews as well too, my friend there. I definitely dug the uh, Taco Bell box review. That was a lot of fun to, uh, to check out there. I didn't get it that day, uh, but definitely good stuff there as well. Ed Keaton, stay frosty. Thanks so much, man. You be safe as well. And like I said, after next Friday, I'm going to be checking out the new Halloween film on the 18th, and then on the 19th, we are going to be on location at the real Michael Myers house, the one that was featured in the movie, uh, Mission Avenue in South Pasadena. So if any of you local peeps are there and you see me walking around, you could be in the stream. Jump in. Just saying. Should be a lot of fun. All right. So as we round it out, again, to everybody on the stream here right now, again, thank you so much. If you haven't smashed that like button down below, please do that. That would be an amazing, amazing gift to me on the way out. We got 45 peeps consistently in. Highest was up to like the 70s or 80s, so that was awesome. Thank you so much for jumping on. And uh, again, amazing times here, guys. Now it is all downhill with doing this type of format on the fly, um, using this handheld rig that I've got here with my lighting and everything too. No matter what the weather condition, technically, as long as it's not raining per se, I guess, uh, we've got some good stuff here right now. So David P, thanks so much. Good night to you as well and to everybody watching the stream here right now again. One last time, thank you so much for jumping on, hitting that like button down below. Um, the stream will be available before 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time tomorrow. And uh, you'll find it in the community tab here on the channel, as well as in the live stream replay list um, that is right underneath the main page. I've moved it up towards the top for you um, as well. So to all the amazing content creators on the uh, stream here right now, um, Sarah Star Vlogs and Reviews, Outlaws, Generation, Justin, Fast Food Pit Stops, KBD Productions TV, Ken Domic in Effect, um, amazing people with just amazing content and genuinely good souls, just good people doing their stuff, putting out content that they think you're going to enjoy. So show the love, uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe, and uh, all that good stuff as well. So it is just an amazing, amazing situation right there. What's that? I'm an amazing content creator. Shout me. Is that less... Les Regolser, I hope I'm not killing your name, but I probably am, man. I probably am. I apologize to you if I am, my friend, if I'm butchering it. Uh, but Les Regolser, <laughs> I believe. Thanks so much for jumping on, my friend. I appreciate it. And to everybody else, thank you for joining me tonight officially. My name is Ian K, creator, producer, and host of Peep This Out Reviews here on YouTube. It's now officially the end of the Friday Night Live stream. And thankfully, we are going home safely right now. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Do me a favor, once this replay goes live, drop some comments down below. Let me know what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it. And if there's anything you'd like to see differently on the next stream, I have some things planned for the Michael Myers one, naturally. Um, so it should be a lot of fun. So again, thank you for interacting, for taking part and being part of the community here in the chat. And I will definitely talk to you uh, in a while. And uh, as well as IG, keep watching IG story. You never know what you're gonna see. It should be a lot of fun. So guys, take care, have a great one, and as always, I've got brand new content every single week here on my channel, so while you stay tuned for that next review coming real soon, in the meantime, stay frosty. Good times, everybody. You already know what it is, and that's the last time I'm going to say that, I swear, tonight. <laughs> All right, guys, take care. Have a great weekend. We'll see ya.